All right. We're playing against. <laughs> Jeez. No rest, eh? We're playing against uh, Mr. Kamsky now. And you're telling me I not only have to use the London, but the Jobava London against him. Great, great. Yeah. Yeah, this is a guy who's not gonna have a clue how to handle the opening. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Six. play this. Yeah, he goes for knight d7, but he doesn't use this knight. He uses the f knight. You can still go for this. Might just go back. Yeah. So I guess his plan is to just take back and then go like this. Pretty logical, to be honest. I feel like I need to react very quickly to this, otherwise it might just be like all over me in this position. Um, like maybe he takes an e4 or something. I don't feel like I want to allow him to do this. So this could be really wrong, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to open the center immediately. Maybe he'll play c6, which is more on the safe side. I definitely don't really know what I'm doing, but I feel like I have the right, the right energy here with this move before. Yeah, so he does, he does go for the solid move. I kind of like queen f3. Queen d3, queen f3. We can long castle to defend this pawn, like a queen b6. Okay, I think we want to castle here. We could go bishop b4 after, so just want to be careful. Probably gonna do this. We'll have to take this, and if he takes this way, I think we have to go immediately with C4. I think without this move, I mean, I, I don't like playing like this. This is not really in my style, but if I don't play C4, then I feel like my position is going to be really bad. Okay, he's going to get castled here. Hmm. To play bishop back on bishop d6. I definitely don't want to trade bishops with him. He's going to attack this. I think we've got a push. So he can situate his bishop here pretty nicely. Let's take. You can play this.
know if I like this, but... Ooh, that was a really good game. That was a really clean finish. I definitely messed it up a little bit, but that was a great finish. Yeah, I... Sh I basically, I, I whenever the Rook would go here, I needed to just go back here, because then it forces him to go back and... We can definitely, eventually I would find out how to continue because obviously this is an amazing position. He's tied down to like absolutely everything. Um, but I didn't find the right way to, to break through. But yeah, if, if this was like, you know, each had a minute or something, such an unpleasant position. I should have done a better job here, but I kind of let him off the hook. I just needed to play this to stop that. He'd have to go back. And then eventually I'd find out how to break through here. Like whether it's bringing the bishop back or literally running my king somewhere. Whatever it is, I needed to do a little bit of a better job. Probably this rook needs to stay here to guard the, the C file, and then I can do other stuff. Well, we took down Kamski with the London. That's uh, definitely a special achievement. Um, no surprise, it's not the London I usually play. <laughs> but... Um, I wasn't sure if I did things right. I was happy with the opening. I thought I got a great opening position, but then he played queen d5. He did this takes in queen d5, and yeah, my only attempt is to do this exactly as I did. And honestly, I thought I played it pretty well from there. White, white is doing well here, and I thought I 
made a great decision to play C4 in takes, which is really outside my comfort zone. I, I like to just keep the pawn structure very simple. C3, you know, whatever. But white's definitely better here. And yeah, once we got this position, we were we were just better. Rook C5. White has a probably winning edge. Should be winning. Thanks a lot, Basmania. Thanks a lot, buddy. 10 subs. I appreciate you, Baz. That was a nice win. <laughs> Pretty much never say that. Even if I win, it's like, eh, that was a sloppy win. But 